Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 1st of October and we'll be able to extend that beyond that with the extension of FS and ECM Ensembles. We are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at ZFSB2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks, it gets us into the second half of October. Well, in the second half of October. And I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video Today was our 6am UK web forecast and live streams are back. So we're going to be live tonight at 7pm uh, new start time, new day. So Monday 7pm we're going to be discussing the winter updates through the next few weeks. Starting with update number one, update number two. We will show you the 12Z and of course it's uh, Sunday live stream rolled over to Monday live stream I guess. So uh, we've got to include some long range in that as well. So uh, that's to come and I'll see you live a little bit later on, hopefully. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that. And hope you're having a lovely Monday. Right, OK. Well, let's start off in the uh, tropical, subtropical Atlantic. Because did do a 10 to 14 day yesterday. I released the second winter update yesterday. I didn't want to do another video, you know, after that, overshadowing it. So, uh, no 10 to 14 days at the moment on Sundays, though. But uh, have got winter updates. So, catching up with everything. So, uh, we've got a orange uh, extras here. That is disturbance too. And it's got a 40% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. We've got a red extras here with a 70% 70 70 chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. A high chance that that could happen. And then we've got uh, Hurricane Gabriel, which has powered up uh, quite a lot and has now reached category, is that category three hurricane status? I think he's going on for it. Uh, so if we have a look at the discussion, now actually let's have a look at uh, uh, Cone the static images first of all. So yeah, we've got a major hurricane uh, at the moment. Uh, so Gabriel powered up more than was expected to um, reaching category three hurricane status, uh, we'll now move in uh, that direction as a hurricane through the middle part of the week. Uh, so there's a hurricane just there, not all that far away from uh, the coast of Portugal, actually. But by the weekend, will be uh, subtropical as it heads towards uh, Spain, Portugal, and uh, the Bay of Biscay. Then it will be subtropical, an area of low pressure by that point. So going to discussion. Uh, we can see that uh, this is at uh, giving maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. Uh, we'll be going up to 130 miles per hour, maximum sustained in about 12 hours time, if the prediction is correct. That does get us into uh, Category 1 hurricane status. Uh, and then we'll be uh, weakening after that. So eventually we'll go down to 110, uh, 90, and then finishing up giving uh, sustained winds of 65 miles per hour as a post-tropical storm. Hmm, interesting. So, it looks like things are developing with the hurricane seats. As we said in our winter updates, uh, number one and number two, um, it is actually a quieter than average hurricane season at the moment. We are a little bit below average for the overall numbers and also, also for accumulated cyclone energy ace. Uh, but it looks like uh, the season might be powering up a little bit uh, at the moment. So we are in peak season, of course. And we'll keep you updated. Right, coming back home, high pressure is uh, on the way back in. So we've got an area of high pressure now building in uh, from the west. And that high pressure will be in control for the rest of the week. Let's drag the map around, see if we can find Gabrielle, there she is. So let's zoom in. And uh, yeah, so that's what a, a big hurricane looks like on these uh, maps. Always very uh, dramatic. Let's go in and 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 go in. And uh, focus in on that eye of the storm. There you go. Well, that looks uh, <laughs> quite dramatic, doesn't it? So, uh, so yeah, that is what uh, the major Hurricane Gabrielle is currently looking like on the uh, latest wind flow map. We'll keep you updated. Central in temperature is uh, back down to 15.2, 1.7 degrees above 61 to 90, 90 average. It's provisional to uh, yesterday to the 21st of September. 
These are the GFS, a bread temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're looking at leads today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature actual leads. We're starting off below average with the upper air temperatures at the moment for the next couple of days. They will lift back up to become closer to normal uh, by month's end and into early October, maybe going above average. So it might be in for a uh, warmer start to October. Precipitation wise, it's going to be a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, next few days, but turning more unsettled through that first week of October with some rather large uh, precipitation spikes appearing then. Temperature anomalies for the next five days between 27th and September coming out below average, a cooler than average period to come. 10 to 14 day goes a little bit above average. Precipitation anomalies next seven days now looking drier than at normal. 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly also going drier than average. Okay, so let's start going through the all-important chart data then. Starting off with the latest UK Met Euro run, showing a high pressure over and to the east potentially on Thursday. Uh, so mainly dry and fine, will be quite chilly by night, not too bad by day. Into the weekend, low pressure started heading from off the Atlantic. That could bring some rain in from the western weekend. And it looks like a rich beginning to uh, build back in behind that though, uh, probably uh, taking us back to higher pressure again for months end. Icon looks like this again. High pressure in control Thursday and Friday. Weather system pushing through into the uh, weekend. There's the remains of Gabriel, by the way, off the coast of Spain and Portugal there. Uh, and as we go through, it looks like we start to uh, develop a bit of a westerly flow. Uh, by the beginning of next week. So that gets us next Monday, 29th of September, where it looks like we're going into uh, more of a flatter, westerly type scenario. The, uh, hold on. <coughs> oh, sorry, everyone. will not be our video or live stream. You've a cough. <laughs> uh, KMA, again, showing high pressure, uh, weakening a bit into the weekend, allowing some lower pressure to push through, bring some showering out to breaks of rain. Uh, but then the high pressure re-establishing, particularly so to the south after that, and into early October, where we're going to a flat westerly flow there with high pressure uh, to the south, low pressure to the north. We end up with, K with KMA looking like that. So high pressure just about protecting the south from unsettled conditions, more unsettled though up in the north. And then the GFS uh, midnight run, again showing high pressure over to the east country on Saturday and into Sunday, low pressure out to the west. Eventually, by the beginning of next week, a bit different to the other models, we find low pressure across France starting to be uh, northwards, threatening some heavy rain into the south. And then beyond that, day 10 and beyond, we're into a long fetch, sort of southwesterly flow, with high pressure south, low pressure to the north. Uh, and look increasingly unsettled as we move through the first week of October. Looks very active for the hurricane season, I have to say. There's various storms coming and going by the look of it. Uh, another one there by the 8th of October into the northern uh, Atlantic. But Jeff S6 then, by comparison, again, there's Gabriel around the uh, Azores on Friday. So uh, beyond that, to f though, or um, for us, we're under high pressure. And then beyond that, we find uh, high pressure weakening the remains of Gabriel around the bay. A Biscay into Sunday, bringing some wet weather to western portions of Europe. We're just about avoiding that and missing it, uh, staying under the ridge, really. And uh, into the beginning of October, around day 10, we've got a nice mild push of southwesterly winds there. So that's quite a warm start to October. Uh, begins somewhere on Saturday through the first week of the month, going into uh, flat westerly flow. And again, we've got the remains of some sort of storm or feature in the North Atlantic there by the 8th of October. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and uh, all our videos and content. Live stream too. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz. Don't forget to great tea. Thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that. About uh, 70, 65 subscribers, 65 to 70 will get us to um, uh, 20.6k. If you could get us up, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM, again, with high pressure over uh, to the east of the country. We, uh, for the end of the week, weakening at the weekend, uh, with weather system bring some rain 
in from the West Saturday Sunday. Man, high pressure back in again as we go through the uh, of course of next week. We end up looking rather flat and westerly there. Low pressure north, high pressure to the south, and a uh, feature uh, remains of a hurricane or tropical storm just there. And then the ECM looks like this. So high pressure again is weakening uh, through the weekend, allowing a weather system to bring some rain in from the west over the weekend. Then next week we start to re-establish higher pressure. So turning uh, mainly dry through the middle part of next week. And that high pressure really intensifies then into the first weekend of October. Uh, by the end of the ECM run, gets the 7th of October, the high pressure just begins to weaken a little bit. We've got a deep area of low pressure up here around Newfoundland. And we've got some sort of uh, low pressure between the uh, Azores and Spain as well. So, it's rather... Well, it's hard to get a handle, isn't it, on what's happening there, really, through the first week of October. I think we're going to be mostly warm and dry, but, like, there's quite a lot of variability as you go through those models. Uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on... Now, ECM run from Tibetia.com. So a few showers into the southeast over the next few days. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of dry and quiet weather, really. Into the weekend, there will be a band of rain coming across the country, uh, probably weakening as it does so. It's moving into high pressure, but bring some wet weather over the weekend. Then we're back to mostly dry conditions early next week. Most of the rain is up in the north. That's day 10, uh, looking mainly dry then. And these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the isolated Met Office. It gets us to the 2nd of October. 14 members of the ECM ensembles with a nice area of high pressure through the north and west of Europe and Group Patrol. And the operation run 12 with high pressure more focus on Scandinavia and more of an easterly type influence. We've got another 12 with high pressure to our east and south and some lower pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. We've got uh, further, uh, we've got another eight, I should say, or we've got eight. We've low pressure to the north, high pressure is down to the south, that looks rather flat and westerly, and then we've got five with high pressure. I think we're set for high pressure for the start of October there, with most of those um, scenarios, most of those clusters. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 7th of October. 14 members of the ECM ensemble still with a ridge over country. 13 with high pressure in control. 10 with high pressure out to the west. Low pressure to the east. That was a little bit cool and showery. We've got 8 with lower pressure in from the Atlantic. And then we've got 6 with high pressure Bridging through the north or west of Europe, bringing a lot of dry weather uh, with it. So most of the options are environment high pressure at day 10 and at two weeks out. Right, CFS finally, and then we're done until we uh, go live at 7. So uh, these are 500 millibar high thermometer broken down into week periods. First week periods at week period takes from the 22nd to September 28th. Low pressure south, high pressure is to the north, and that could bring unsettled conditions into more southern regions. Week 2. It's going to be the uh, 29th of September, 5th of October. High pressure is to the south and also to the northeast. Lower pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Could be a little bit mixed from the West Spare. We three <laughs> will be the uh, 6th to 12th of October. High pressure in the North Atlantic. Lower pressure through the Bear. And then uh, week four will be the 13th to the 19th of October, with high pressure just to our west. Chop of low to the north and the northeast. That looks uh, unsettled, and potentially quite chilly. We'll bring the wind in from the northwesterly direction. We'll take that much of an adjustment to uh, go northerly there. So uh, that could be a bit of a cold snap for the middle of October. But of course, it's four weeks away, and therefore. Probably won't verify. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for dear Matt. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all my videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Love Meets and get them to subscribe to. Thank you so much, everyone, for dear Matt. So we're going live at um, 7 pm. I shall see you then. We'll be chatting about uh, updates number one and two. For winter updates, we'll show you the 12Z and we'll include uh, long range into the mix as well. Uh, I'll probably show one of the CFS runs now. There was an absolutely epic, epic, epic CFS run uh, yesterday, but my good friend sent it, sent it, sent it. 
uh, send it, Matthew send it, featured um, on his channel in his video uh, yesterday. And it was absolutely amazing. I thought I probably would show that, but actually I can't. Because <laughs> uh, the CFS is uh, about 7-6 there uh, for Sunday. And uh, it's already started to change over to the CFS 6 z for Monday. So unfortunately, the CFS slash Rebel Gods have done it to us again. I won't be able to include that one. But I will include one of the CFS runs, probably. And uh, we'll have a bit of fun with one of those. And it'll be nice to see you all uh, later on. So if you're around the channel at 7 ish, I'll see you then. And uh, it'll be nice to be back doing the line. Uh, well, you enjoy the rest of your Monday, though, and uh, we'll see you later, hopefully. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.